with more Shannon with Miller. Um, and if you remember last time, we had just finished talking to the orcs. Sorry, that one ran a little bit long there, but um, orcs or were they trolls? Oh yeah, trolls. I don't know why I said. Oh, I think I said orcs because the uh, like in the fight, the orcs kind of look like or the the, the trolls kind of look more like what I picture orcs as in most like settings. Um. But yeah, so we just finished talking to the trolls, um, uh, and they want us to get the elves to accept a challenge of champions, so we're going to go do that now. So, elf camp. Go. What's up, dude? Uh, uh, let's come see. no closer, Wayfarers. The army of Arbalon is at war. Strangers are not permitted in our camp. I was going to offer to do this one since you've been doing a bunch lately, but okay. <laughs> Too late now. What's done is done. So, uh, I'm Jack Omsford. This is the Princess Shella Alea. Uh, and our companions, Brendel the Dwarves and Panama and Creel. The uh, king has uh, been Creel informed of our coming. And he's Panama and Creel. <laughs> See, like, I'm he not from anywhere know. either. But yeah, so the uh, king's been informed of our coming. I have my orders, gentle beings. I have had no word to admit you to the camp. So, will we help rescue Prince Ain from the Warlock Lord? Prince Ain has returned with a scholar, Davio. He had been kidnapped by trolls. You apparently do not talk to your kidnapped victims. That is very good to know. Prince Ain was kidnapped by monsters disguised as trolls. Oh, wait, let me see. I bet he says, Trolls are monsters. Trolls <laughs> yes. are monsters? I didn't even... When I ran through this before, I just, like, clicked through everything, so I actually didn't remember him actually saying that, so that's awesome. Um... So... Allow me to lead you to King Eventine, honored guests. Uh, freely the encampment of the Arbalon armies. So for those uh, who weren't paying attention, I showed him the letter from the prince back in Arbalon. Okay, I got this one. Alright. <clears throat> Greetings, Jack Omsford, Princess Shella of Leia, Brenda of Brendel of Koleva, and sorry, I almost called you Brenda, and Panama <laughs> Creel. Scholar Davio informed us of your coming. Uh, so he is pretty much the same as Brendel. <laughs> no, 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 he's he's or more like Brent, uh, uh, no, he, he's more like um, crap. What are those things called in Mass Effect? Um, I am Eventine Alasadil, and this is my middle son Ander. Yeah, those big dudes. I don't remember their names. Um, let's see. He's gonna sound like his brother. I am honored to meet all of you. I think he's, like, more polite. <laughs> I thank you greatly for the return of my son, Ain. It seems my family will forever be in debt to your family, Jack. It grieves me that Arborlon must once again fight a war started by the Warlock Lord. There will be many deaths and little gain. <laughs> um, haha. -ha. We've come here to stop this war, actually, haha. -ha. Jack? Why don't you tell King Eventine what happened at the troll camp? You relate the, relate the details of what went on in the troll camp. You asked the elf ruler to accept the challenge of champions. No elf can take on a troll single-handed in combat. Well, uh, does it have to be combat? In a challenge of champions, the chosen defenders of both sides contend to determine the winner. So, uh, who determines what weapon is used in the challenge, eh? According to the rules of a challenge of champions, the choice of weapons goes to the side that is challenged. And I like how apparently every race has the same challenge of champion and rules and stuff. <laughs> so, uh, why don't it's the elves, uh, accept a thing. So why don't the elves choose a weapon that will give them the advantage, eh? You know, like a bow. Or like a cannon. 
in any form of combat, the troll has an unfair advantage. What about a uh, battle of wits, though? Uh, 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 uh. Ah, perhaps we could choose a weapon of marked advantage to the elves. Shall we turn the challenge of champions into a riddle contest? Ha ha ha! Challenging the trolls to a riddle contest is a battle of wits with an unarmed opponent. Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent suggestion. We shall meet with the Troll King at dawn to accept the challenge. Our chosen weapon will be riddles. I invite you all to stay in the elven encampment as my guests. Need to return to the Troll Camp to tell the trolls that you'll meet their king tomorrow. Very well. Until tomorrow, farewell. Greetings, human. And then we apparently teleported. So, uh, Jack, uh <clears throat> Jack convinced the elves to accept the challenge of champions. Ha ha! Good. If elves lose, they surrender. And trolls kill them all. Oh, trolls die. Man, this guy's a... It's a piece of crap. <laughs> That's not the way a challenge is supposed to be, exclamation mark. Is troll way. Period. You will need to meet with King Eventana Lesadil at dawn tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha. Good. Tomorrow war ends. Trolls win. You all spend a restless night in the troll camp awaiting the dawn, afraid that you're going to be eaten constantly. At first light, <laughs> you travel with the troll king and his warriors to an open area between the two camps. He looks so funny. Um, greetings, King of the Trolls. We meet upon the battleground for your parlay. Uh, what that mean? Talk challenge. Trolls demand challenge of champions from elf scum. The elves of Arborlon accept the gracious offer of the trolls. How we kill you? What weapons you want? Riddles are the weapons of we choose. Riddle not weapon. Elves cheat. The choice of weapon rests with the challenged. The rest of the challenge, shouldn't it be the trolls choosing? <laughs> <laughs> no. Riddle not weapon, no challenge. If you are afraid of losing, perhaps you will apologize for your insults and retract your challenge. What that mean? Say sorry. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to. No, trolls not lose. Trolls not say sorry to elf scum. Um, actually, I guess since technically since they're trolls, I guess it'd be more like, would you want me kill? <laughs> Good would old... you want me kill, man? Good old Warcraft 2. Um, I, it took me forever to figure out what they were saying there, by the way. I, I, uh, I was like, would you want me kill? I was like, what the heck is that? And he's like, oh, it's what, what you want me to kill. Like, what do you want me to kill? <laughs> Crazy yeah. trolls. Will you stand by your challenge of champions? Trolls challenge elf scum. Trolls beat elf scum at riddles. What a riddle. Very oh, well. The challenge has been given and accepted. No weapon chosen is the riddle. Both sides will withdraw from the field to choose the champion, then return for the challenge of champions. much growling and snarling from the trolls as they have another bitter argument. They don't like the idea of the riddle contest very much, haha. <laughs> is human scum fault? If trolls lose, human scum die. Then elves die. Troll honor? 
No honor if trolls lose. Who troll champion? Strongest fighter troll, very stupid. Elsek would make a good champion, haha. <laughs> he did find the Black Irix after all, haha. <laughs> Technically Jack did, but you know, I'm not bringing that up right now, haha. <laughs> Elsek make good champion, yes. If lose, Telsec die with human scum. Who want to be champion helper? Also die if trolls lose challenge. I'll do it, haha. <laughs> no, you stay here. Trolls lose, you die first. Man, these are such kind hearted gentlemen. Jack will help Tessek. Jack, be next to die if trolls lose. Jack, that's stupid. Um, hey, stupid. You think I'm that stupid that I'll lose? You idiot. You stand proudly beside Tells I can agree to help him. Don't eat me. Good. Not waste good troll when lose challenge. Now we go tell elves we very honorable. Challenge of champions will begin. And honorable, that's a that's a big word for troll to use. We very honor. There, the elven challenger will be first to pronounce our riddle. The troll champion will present the solution to the elven arbiter before the passing of an hour. Or the elves will be declared winner. Once the riddle is answered, the troll will query the elven challenger. Again, the elf has one hour to answer. All riddles must be answerable by objects located within the immediate area of this battlefield. If the object cannot be found, the champion can challenge his opponent. Unless the opponent produces the object, he forfeits the match. Oh my lord. <laughs> you windbag. <laughs> That's what you get for being an arbiter. <laughs> really? The champion for the elves of Arbalon is Prince Ander. The champion for the trolls is Telsac. I shall be the arbiter of the rules, as shall my trollish counterpart, Gronk. Wow, that's not a stereotypical troll name if I ever heard one. No, not at all. Err. The elf champion will now announce the first riddle. Oh yeah, that's me. On the wind <laughs> I sail, giving flight to the wing. Graceful of dancing a floating thing. I think the voice changed a little bit, but I like that better. The first riddle has been spoken. The troll champion has one hour to return with the answer. Jack, Rendell and I are going to stay in King Aventine's tent during the competition. We'll see you there. Good luck. Yeah, because we don't want to die when you lose. <laughs> Protect us, King Aventine. Oh, trolls. Oh my gosh. Little rhyme. Wing. Thing? at these ugly mugs again, so we're going to come over here to end this one as well. <laughs> um, so we are looking for a thing, and it's actually in this location, but I think the video is getting to the point where I want to be wrapping it up anyway. <laughs> so um, we will come back and finish the first riddle of the competition. Unless it proves to be too hard. In which case we'll just give up and the game will be over. <laughs> Okay. But considering I know all the answers, I don't think that'll be an issue. Um, <laughs> That's not fair. That's cheating. Um, what, being smart and knowing the answers to every riddle ever is cheating? I have the internet. <laughs> yeah. So actually, I just noticed the troll camp is like, are all those little, like, wadded up ball things, like, huts that they made? 
Just say like those look like little shacks on a camping ground or something. The two buildings there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but anyway, so we'll... the elves are at or not the elves. The trolls are at summer camp. Yeah. And the elves are at a Renaissance fair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. Right, so, um, so we're gonna go and end it there. Um, as always, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, and our like ridiculous, sometimes racist uh, voice acting. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> it's only it is only sometimes, all right. Um, but uh, do, if you do like the video, don't forget to take that like button, and don't forget to take that subscribe button as well. If you have not ticked it already, and want to get updates when new content drops on the channel, there. And do remember that there is no IRL, just AFKs. We'll see you next time when Ambo plays Shannarammarammarammar with Mellern. Bye. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>